Well, we've been pushing information from our command line up to the web interface. How do we pull new information back down? So we're in our master branch. And uh, let's go to the new idea file branch right here. And we're going to add another file in here. Let's, let's create a new file, and we'll call this file 4. I am number 4 right and uh, you know we could add some details here we create our new file and it's committed directly to the new idea file branch now if we uh, get branch we see we have master and new idea file so if we get checkout new idea file right It says we're up to date, but are we really? And if we look at get status, it says we're up to date because we're up to date with what we had checked out before we started. So what we need to do, if we think there's changes to work with, we need to do a get pull. So pushing, we were pushing things up, and pull, we're pulling things down. And so here we see that we pulled that down and there is file 4. So I find this personally to be a little misleading. Okay? Because I did a get status and it said that I was current and up to date. I, your branch is up to date with origin new idea file. Origin being here on the computer but it wasn't up to date with what was remote. So word of caution if you're working in the command line make sure that you pull the latest information before you start working on anything or else you're going to have some conflicts where the information you have is not as new as the information that's on your remote and it's going to give you a lot of errors while you're trying to do things. So do keep that in mind. Uh, that's how you would pull information down from above. Um, pretty simple and straightforward but uh, wanted to make sure we covered that as well.